laser light hello friends in this video i will talk about the features of laser light its working principle and the applications a laser is a device that emits light through a process of optical amplification based on the stimulated emission of photons it deliver coherent monochromatic well controlled and precisely directed light beams so they are an ideal choice for concentrating light in a space time or of a particular wavelength to understand the working of a laser it is necessary to know the phenomena of radiative emission and absorption by your system the transition of electron in an atom can take place by three process to emit the electromagnetic radiation this radiation can occur by stimulated absorption spontaneous emission and induced stimulated emission a laser produces light by stimulating the release of photons a laser need four basic parts to do this first one is lasing medium lasing medium is a source of atoms that get excited and emit light of a specific wavelength the medium can be gas liquid or solid second one is power source power source is required to pump the atoms in the lasing medium to an excited state third is mirror two mirrors are required one is partially reflecting and another is fully reflecting the mirrors allow the emitted light to bounce back and forth within the lasing medium cavity and ultimately to escape to the outside a lens is used to focus the beam The lasing process is all about storing and releasing energy. An energy source injects the energy in the lasing medium. The energy excites electrons which moves up to the higher energy level. When the electron relax, they emit photons. The photons moves back and forth between the mirrors exciting other electrons as they go. This process produces a powerful beam in lasing medium called as laser beam. Under normal condition more electrons are in the lower energy state than in higher energy state when energy is supplied to these electrons by method of pumping they jump to higher energy state called e3 these electrons in higher energy state do not stay for long period after a very short period they fall back to the next lower energy level called metastable state by releasing radiationless energy This metastable state E2 has a greater lifetime than lower energy state E1. Hence, more electrons are accumulated in this energy state than the lower energy state. Hence, the population inversion is achieved here. This population inversion constitutes the basic principle of laser action. Laser beams are highly monochromatic. That means it has only a single wavelength. or we can say it has a single color in modern days there is a huge application of laser some important applications are laser weapons are used to aim and focus on the enemy very accurately they can damage from a very long distance it is used in lidar technology in this technology it is used as the source of light because it is very powerful and it can generate very pure light of one color in electronics and communication system laser is used as a data transferring medium it is used for free space optical communication in medical industry it is used for surgery purpose kidney stone removal purpose and hair removal purpose Other application includes light decorating devices, laser printers, logo making machines, laser light displays, laser counters and missiles. Stay tuned to our channel for more topics like this. Thanks for watching.